Hello everyone, I'm having a tea party with all my toy friends because I miss playing with you so much. Why don't you have one at your home too? It's really fun. Just don't forget to clear up all your toys at the end. You could sing our Tidy Up song while you do. Oh my goodness, it's time to start our phonics lesson. Everybody tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. Everybody tidy up, it's time for phonics. Hello everyone! It's time to start our handwriting. Please, can you get your pencil and your paper or your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen ready by the time I get to zero? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Okay, let's go with our poor warm-ups. Let's go. Right, see if you can get your hands into a fist, first of all, like that. And then you're going to just pick up your thumbs to give a thumbs up. That's it. Okay, and then just your Peter Pointer. That's it. And then the middle one. That's it. And then that one. Oh, I can't do that one very well. And then that one. Okay, and then you're going to see if you can do it in a Mexican way. So that one, that one, that one. And then back down. And open. And then close. And open. And then close. Okay, big hands, little hands, big hands, little hands, big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little. Oh my goodness. Right, let's see if we can count to ten really quickly, moving our fingers up as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and shake them out. Shake it out. Okay, and then big hands, little hands, big hands, little hands, little big, little big, little. Ah, uh, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, and this time you're going to see if you can clap at the same time as me. Ready? Get your hands ready. Did you do it? And ready. Hey! Big round of applause. Okay, give them a good rub. Do the back, do the other side, and then do your knuckles. Okay, thumbs up if you are ready to go. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. Write our first handwriting pattern. Write our first handwriting pattern is going to be the mountains one, like that. See if you can keep your pen on the page the whole time. That's it. And now, the hills. Fantastic. And then we're going to do across, up. Across, down, across, up, across, down. And then we're going to have a go at the wiggly, snaily one. Okay. Our handwriting pattern for today is basically the letter N. Mm. Hear the aeroplane. Mm. So we go up, down, and then back up like we were doing last week, but then you go across and down. Okay. Move your hand along a bit. I'll see if I can move it a lot longer. There we go. Up, down, up, along, and down. Up, down, up, along, and down. Say it with me. Up, down, up, along. Right, see if you can get your hands into a fist, first of all, like that. And then you're going to just pick up your thumbs 
to give a thumbs up. That's it. Okay, and then just your Peter Pointer. That's it. And then the middle one. That's it. And then that one. Oh, I can't do that one very well. And then that one. Okay, and then you're going to see if you can do it in a Mexican way. So that one, that one, that one. And then back down. And open. And then close. And open. And then close. Okay, big hands. Little hands. Big hands. Little hands. Big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little. Oh my goodness. Right, let's see if we can count to ten really quickly, moving our fingers up as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And shake them out. Shake it out. Okay, and then big hands, little hands, big hands, little hands, little big, little big, little. Ah, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, and this time you're going to see if you can clap at the same time as me. Ready? Get your hands ready. Did you do it? And ready. Hey! Big round of applause. Okay, give them a good rub. Do the back, do the other side, and then do your knuckles. Okay, thumbs up if you are ready to go. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. Right, our first handwriting pattern is going to be the mountains one, like that. See if you can keep your pen on the page the whole time. That's it. And now. the hills. Fantastic. And then we're going to do across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down. And then we're going to have a go at the wiggly, snaily one. Okay, for our handwriting pattern today, we're going to do hear the aeroplane, mmm, hear the aeroplane, mmm, hear the aeroplane, mmm, making lots of noise. And for that, we're going to go up, straight back down again, and then straight back up again, across and down, up, down, up, across and down. Up, down, up, across, and down. Up, down, up, across, and down. Up, down, up, across, and down. Can you see? So it's lots of N's, the letter N. N, 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 N. Fantastic. Right, let's have a go at some drawing. There we go, that's my international skateboarding championships going on there. But remember, you can draw whatever you like, whatever you see in the picture, you can draw. Okay, let's move on to our phonics. Right, we're going to start off same as usual. Let's see if you can say the sounds before I say them. Off we go. Or th. 
Make sure your tongue is sticking out. Th or the. Eh. U or u. Uh. Ul. A. Or. Oi. Or. Your or uh. G. X. Mm. E. W. Ear. A. Uh, I you Uh. Ow. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ch. Ch. Oi. E. O.
Ah. Oh. 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 Mm. B. F. G. Ah. Y or at the end of the word it makes the E sound like in Lucy. I uh Oh, last one. You. Well done, everybody. That's really excellent practicing. Speaking of practicing, we're going to practice a few more words now. We're going to practice the high frequency words. So these are words that come up a lot in your reading that we could be able just to read at sight. So let's see if we can do it at sight now as I go through them all. Okay, good luck. In. No, 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 no. One of your favorites. Two. An. At. As. Got. Get. Him. Big. Dad. Had. B. A. K. Back. Put. It's his. K -a -n can. B -a -t but. I -n in t -u two. Into, into, it, go, 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 
another one of your favourites. I. I is just a capital E. Don't let it trick you. M. A. M. Mum. A. That's it. Off. This one comes a lot in reading. A, n, d, and. Of. Is. The. T-H-E spells the. Don't let it trick you. If. N, O, T, not. Nice work, everybody. You're getting really good at those high frequency words as well. Right, up next are reading some tricky words. Woohoo! Hi, we are going to now read some new tricky words for us, and we're going to also practice some of the ones we already know. So you need your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen ready or your pencil and your paper ready because we're also going to do some decodable words as well. Right, here we go. We're going to start off with the word have. You might want to write it with me if you'd like, but you don't have to, you can just read it for now. So we're going to start off on the line and go up, down, up, across and down, a bit like on our handwriting practice today. This is the word have. <sighs> A -v have. Please can I have some biscuits. Have. The next word is like. L like like okay like please can I have some honey because I like it chocolate chocolate button you don't just like honey you love honey I know I really 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 love honey just like Winnie the Pooh and just like Bumble Bear Right, okay, next one is some. So let me just make sure that's clear. Some. We should probably put them in a different order, shouldn't we? So that we can make it into a sentence. Please can I have some honey because I really like it. That's really good, chocolate, chocolate button. Good sentence, nice work. Okay, so that's some. And then here's another one. Come, which I'm going to put next to some because it looks just like some in a way. And they rhyme. There we go. So we've got some and we've got come. Can you see how they're the same apart from the s and the k? Some, come. Some, come, some, come, like, have, like, some, come, some, like, have. Some people like to come to my house to have some honey. <laughs> That's it. Fantastic. Well, we could write down my as well, couldn't we? Yeah, okay, good. My. There we go. 
Some people like to come to my house to have some honey. Honey! That's it. Fantastic. Okay, the next words are decodable words and they are, well, the first one is short for it is. Okay, so we write that one, we write the word it and then we use an apostrophe. I think this is the first time we've come across apostrophes, so I'm going to show you on a clean board. So you might want to clean your board right now too. We're going to write the word it's, which is short for it is, like it's raining today or it's sunny today. Okay, so here's it's. It. It. We already know how to spell it. It. And then we put an apostrophe like that. It. It's. Okay, so the apostrophe just shows that the e, the other e, is missing because it's short for it finger space is. Okay, they both mean the same thing. It is and it's. Okay, so when you see that word in your reading, it just says it's. Okay, it is and then that one's it's. Um, just, we're going to write just, so it's j, a, s and t, just. J -a -st, just. It's just stopped raining and the sun has come out. That's true. It's just. It's just. Okay, shall we have a go at spelling some of our words then? No? You want to do some more reading first? Okay, we'll do a bit more reading first and then we'll do some spelling. Okay, let's play match the word to the picture. Okay, great, I love that game. Fantastic, okay, let's go. This is a really fun game and we've played it before many times. All we have to do is try to match the word to the picture. Now, I've had a go at doing my best drawing because I don't have a printer at home. So I hope um, you'll, you'll be able to see what I've drawn. But if you can't, then that's not your fault. It's definitely my fault. Okay, so let's see. Where are the pictures? And here are the words. Let's see if we can read the words to see if we can match up. So here we go. Let's read it together. T -r E T tr tr E tree tree hmm so which is the picture of a tree I found it okay let's move that one Lucy can you move that one next to that picture yes I can one second Okay, that's definitely right now. Okay, let's see what the next one says. We've got s t r. Open wide, the doctor said r. Okay, s t r. Star. Star. It says star. Okay, let's have a look at the pictures. Which one is the star? That one. Or, mm, that one's a star. Okay, yes, you're right. Let's move that one to there. Now, let's see if I've been tricking you or if this is the correct picture for this word. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what that is, to be honest. S T E P S T E P S T E P Step, step, step. It says step. Ah, uh, oh, yes, that's the right picture. It's a picture of some steps. Look, dum, 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 dum. Like in uh, the poem by Michael Rosen. Up the steps, dum, 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 dum. <gasps> oh no, we've forgotten to close the door. Back down the stairs, dum, 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 dum. 
close the door, back up the stairs, dum 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 dum, along the corridor, into bed, under the covers. <gasps> We're not going on a bear hunt again. <laughs> right, next, let's try the next three words. That was really good reading. Elbow bump, boom, there we go. Okay, here are the next three pictures to match with the words. Right, have a look at the pictures. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what that one is. Right, here we go. Let's see if the words can help us spot what the pictures are. Here we go. Number one. S. W. Sw. I. Sw. I. M. Swim. Swim. <gasps> Oh, it's already got the right picture. You're right, chocolate button, it does. Fantastic. So we don't need to change that picture because it says swim and there's a picture of someone having a swim. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what the next one says. F, r, o, g, frog, fro, frog, 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 it says frog. Okay, let's see which picture should go with, oh, that's what that is. It's a frog. Ah, oh, yes, I see now, a frog. Okay, let's put that one next to that one. So now that makes sense. Okay, and the last one, let's see. D, r, dr, dr, o, drop, drop, drop. A dr Oh, it's a raindrop. I see. Oh, yes, that's perfect. So now that's in the right place as well. We've managed to do all of them. Elbow bump. Hooray. Well done. Right, let's do a bonus one. Let's see if the last one is in the right place. Okay, here we go. Hmm. It looks like it might be right. S. P. Sp. O. Spot. Sp. O. Spot. Spot. Is that a spot? Yeah, that's a spot. Fantastic. Okay, we got them all right. Three out three is six. Add one more is seven. Seven words we got right. Fantastic. Well done us. Elbow bump again. Elbow bump again. Woo. Right, we're going to do some spelling now and we're going to start off with the word plan. Lucy, can I ask you to put your fingers out? There we go. Fantastic. So Lucy's going to help you with the segmenting. You might want to do it on your fingers too. And we're going to start off with the word plan. P L A N Plan. So there's four sounds. Make sure your word's got four sounds in it. Plan. A plan is something that you make in advance of something so you know what you're going to do. So it might be a list of things you're going to do. A plan. Batman and Robin made a plan to defeat the Joker. Plan. The next word is grip, grip, g, r, i, p, grip. If you're falling off something, you might need to grip hold of it really, really tight so you don't fall off any further. Grip. Spider-Man maintained a really good grip on the walls so he wouldn't fall off even when he was going upside down on the ceiling. Grip. The next word is glad, glad, g, l, a, d, 
glad. Glad means happy, really. Superwoman was glad. She had saved the world again. Glad. The next word we've written a lot in our thank you letters and our invitations and all sorts of letters that we've been writing. This word is from. F, f, r, o, m. From. From. And the word from means it's telling you where where something has been. So you might say, with love from Akira, if she was writing a thank you card, or love from Marcel, if he was writing a Mother's Day card. Superman comes from another planet, from. The next word is stop. Stop. S t o p. Stop. Stop. Can you write the word stop? Stop there, said the police person. I need to look at your identification. Stop. The next words are our tricky words that we've been learning last week. See if you can remember how to spell them. If you can't, don't worry. Just have a go and do your best. That's all we want. So the first one is said. 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 The next one is so. I was hungry, so I went to look in the fridge to see if I could find some honey. So. The next word is went. Went. W -e -n -t. Went. Make sure you remember that n as the third letter, otherwise it says wet. So try and remember n as well. W -e -n -t. Went. Yesterday I went to the shop to buy some milk. Went. The next word is he. He, 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 he. This is a pronoun for boys. He decided he needed a new pair of trousers. He. And the next word is she. <laughs> Just like he, but with a, oh, 
Chocolate, chocolate button, I hope you're not giving them the answers. Are you sure? I think you were about to say, just like he, but with a s in front of it. Is that what you were going to say? Oh, hang on. You've just said it, Lucy. Oh, yes, yeah, silly me. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, well, we'll have to give that one to you for free. She. She. Only three more to go. The next one is me. Me, 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 me. Not you, but me. Me. And the next one is we. <laughs> Your favorite chocolate chocolate button. <laughs> you still laughing. We know it's not that type of we, you naughty bear. It's we are going to the park together. That's kind of we. Steer me. We. And the last one is B. Bzzz. No, chocolate, chocolate button. We've already discussed this loads of times before. It's not a buzzing bee, it's just the tricky word bee. I would like to be an engineer when I'm older. Ooh, that would be a really good idea, chocolate chocolate button. Fantastic. Bee. Right, okay, let's see how we've got on. Woohoo, get ready to tick all your correct answers. Let's go. For our last game today, we are going to read two sentences and we're going to see which picture goes with the sentence. Okay, let's remember that we start our sentences with a capital letter. Let's see if I've done that. Yep, I have done that. There's my capital T there. And I end my sentence with a full stop, which you can see just there. Okay, just to remember. And then I've got my finger spaces in between the words because that's how we know that one word finishes and the other one starts. So we put a finger space in between our words. Right, okay, let's see how we get on. So we've got to read the sentence and then find the picture that goes with the sentence. Should we read it together or would you like to have a go by yourselves first? Okay, have a go by yourselves first and then we'll read it together. Okay, let's try and read it together now. T-H-E spells the. So we've got the. K -u -ow -cl -ow -n. Clown. The clown did tricks. Tr Tricks. The clown did tricks with, with. The clowns did tricks with a. The clown did tricks with a ch i m ch imp 
chimp, a n chimpan, oh, chimpan z e z, chimpanzee, chimpanzee. The clown did tricks with a chimpanzee. Hmm. Okay. Let's see which picture that should go with. We've got a crab, a clown, or a tree. Oh, it's the clown. That's it. So that's right. Is that what you thought as well? It is. Fantastic. Yes. Elbow bump. Woohoo. Okay. Let's try the next sentence. Hmm, okay, capital letter at the beginning, full stop at the end, and finger spaces in between words. Okay, so we've got a sentence perfectly. Right, let's see. A crab, 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 a crab, crept, crept, crept. A crab crept in, in to, into a crab crept into a cra, cra, c, crack a crab crept into a crack in in the rock rock. A crab crept into a crack in the rock. Hmm. Which picture do you think it is? I've got a crab swimming or a tree. Oh, the crab! It's the crab! Yes, you're right, chocolate, chocolate button. It is the crab. The crab crept into a crack in a rock. Oh my goodness. Wow, we have worked hard today. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you